The island of Silver was under a hot sun. The summer tourists didn't mind. They were bound to sandy beaches, shady forests, and scenic escapes. However, the steam engines felt put out. With fireboxes burning and boilers blistering in the sun, they grew cross and irritable. Boko the Disney didn't mind it. He loved the sunny weather and tried to cheer the others up. The steam engines like untrusted Boko, which was more than they could say for other diesels. It just never ends. What never ends? My bad luck. First, I get stuck with branch line work. Then, Birdie delays me at the station. Out in the baking sun, no less. To top it off, I had to make up for lost time. I'm exhausted. You did well to get here so quickly. A cool drink from the water tower is just what you need. Ha! That water's hardly cool when it boils in the sun all day. Boko didn't say any more, but he had an odd feeling inside. Later, Boko brought passengers from Edwards Harbor to the big station. What a nice sunny day. Wouldn't you agree, Thomas? It wasn't very nice of the sun to bend my rails. Now I'm stuck shunting rotten trucks until my branch lines repair. All day long, the steam engines complain relentlessly. Bogo tried to make them see the bright side, but his sunny disposition was soon clouded over. It all came to a head when he found Henry fuming at the platform. Playing relief engine. Despicable. Donald's not ill. He just doesn't want to come out in this heat. I'm supposed to be resting. If you're so tired, why don't you all just roll off to the scrapyard? The engines there would love to hear how you simply didn't want to work anymore when that's all they want the chance to do. Ridiculous. Relentless, moaning, and groaning as if they're all so hard done by. If he hadn't been so cross, Boko might have realized his cooling system was packing up. Suddenly, his engine started to puff and spluck. Great! That's torrent. That's what you get for being so cross. Now I have to call for help. Boko was feeling very sorry for himself when he heard the whistle. Henry had come to his rescue. Oh, I'm sorry, Henry. What I said was horrid and- No, I'm sorry. We all are. We shouldn't have pushed our problems onto you. You always show us the bright side. It's time we learn to see it. When Boko returned, the steam engine greeted his erratic whistles. The steam engine took a page of his book and stopped complaining. Well, almost everyone. 
filthy, rotten trucks, muttered James. Why do I have to pull them? Flying along with a fast goods train is a splendid way to show off your red paint. With a thought like that, James was intrigued. 